Bar Radicales is the bar that used to be the headquarters of the radical movement that brought democracy to Chile. Now it's a bar and a great place to grab a bite to eat. As a modern day explorer, I do get the opportunity to travel and I get the opportunity to eat a lot of different foods. Chile's food is so special, whether it's gourmet fine dining or whether it's something more local. The ingredients and the quality and the passion that goes into the food here is so remarkable. Lo que más amo, me gusta más la reineta, la corvina y el salmón. Esos tres pescados maravillosos. La Pastole is one of the most exclusive properties in wine country in Chile. The great thing about this place is they give you a personalized menu, a wine pairing, and you can't beat this view. And if you're a guest at this hotel, you get to go to the owner's quarters down below the tasting table. Are these by year? Yeah. Or These vines have around 126 years old. You can identify the age of the plant counting the cuts on the trunks. The Colchagua Valley is one of Chile's best known regions for red wine, and this is one of the only places in the world to taste Carmenere. This is why we bring our guests. As a member of the U.S. Tour Operators Association, Cox and Kings is able to get you closer to special experiences that you want to enjoy because we have great relationships on the ground. Having a great knowledgeable guide can really enhance your experience and give you that insider access that people are looking for when they travel. An example of that is our guide yesterday who took us to a small organic farm because he knew the woman who owned the garden. Morelia started her business on the side of the road selling her empanadas on the street and now she has a restaurant because she was known throughout Chile for her empanadas. We just saw Morelia's organic garden, and now we're gonna sit down and eat some of her delicious empanadas. Five years ago, coffee wasn't part of the culture here. Now, coffee culture is here, and you can get your coffee on the side of the street.